If you want to glow this summer, I've got you. I want to talk today about the new Melt Blush Light blushes. I purchased three of the eight shades that they came out with. They're all cream blushes and some of them have a natural finish, others have a pearl finish. So I actually bought two of the pearl finishes and one of the natural finishes. So I want to try all three of them on for you today, show you how they apply, show you the colors, and we'll just play with makeup because that's what I love to do. I'm going to start with the shade Lynx. Now, honestly, I purchased this thinking maybe I could use it as a bronzer. It is way too reflective to use as a bronzer, so I will only be using it as a blush. But if you want that J-Lo glow, this is an awesome shade, especially if you have fairer skin like I do. You can use your fingers, a beauty blender, or a blush brush to apply these. I'm actually gonna start with my beauty blender, and I'm just going to take some of the product. And the reason I'm using the beauty blender for this is because I do want it to be more of a glow around the whole face. Again, I'm not using it as a bronzer, but I just want it to look like I've been sun-kissed. Look at that glow. I love this shade and I think it gives a really beautiful flush to the skin. And I think this is a really lovely color, especially if you are looking for a sun-kissed glow in part of your blush. So the other pearl finish that I picked up was Golden Hour, which is a bit peachier. I like this one as well. It just looks like a gorgeous flush. So I'm going to apply that on this cheek and I'm going to use my blush brush for this. I think it takes longer to build it up with the brush. So there's Golden Hour. I think the color is really beautiful. You can build it up, and if I used my fingers, I could build it up even more if I wanted to. I will say that between the two, Golden Hour and Lynx, I think Lynx is a bit more sheer, so it takes a lot more to build it up if you do want a more opaque color. Golden Hour will build up just a little bit quicker. So I'm actually going to go take this all off and I'm going to use my last blush, which is a natural finish, and I'll wear that for the rest of the day. So I took the blushes off. I now have brand new makeup on and I also finished my eye makeup as well. And I want to end the video trying on Honey Thief, which is my favorite of the colors that I purchased. This is a gorgeous peachy pink and I'm going to apply this one with my fingers. And this one does not take a lot to build up. It builds up really quickly. I also love that it doesn't lift off any of the foundation underneath. That's really important to me and it doesn't do that at all. It just lays right on top and looks really glowy. It is just the perfect summer glow. I love it so much. Now you can also use these on your lips and even if you want on your eyes. So I'm going to apply that same color on my lips. I'm just going to tone down a little bit of my T-zone and this is with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And here's the finished look. I left the powder off my cheeks just because I want that glow to shine through, but you can certainly add powder if you want to tone down the shine. These products get an absolute A plus from me. I think they are gorgeous. The colors are wonderful and they just give that gorgeous summer glow that I know I want. So if you try this, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think of these. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming, reviews, tutorials, you name it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.